Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about using a cheap HDMI capture USB adapter on a Mac with QuickTime Player. I'll put a link below to my audio video playlist where you can find those previous videos, and I'll also put a link to these devices on Amazon and eBay, and if you use either of those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to have two of these devices plugged into my Mac, and I'm going to record two separate video streams using QuickTime. So I'm also doing my screen capture with QuickTime, so I don't know if this computer is going to handle it very well. It's a 2012 MacBook Pro, so if there's some glitchiness, it may work better on your system than it's working for me since I'm recording the screen and two separate streams at the same time. So I've opened up QuickTime Player. I'll go to File, and I'll go to New Movie Recording. And I have two of these adapters plugged into my Mac. So one is connected up to an NES Classic, and the second one's connected to a Super NES Classic. So if I click down on this little arrow next to the record button, you can see I have USB video and USB video number two, and then I have USB digital audio and USB digital audio. So these have separate names for video, but it uses the same name for audio. So you can go over here to the right, and I'll turn the sound up, and I can tell if this is the correct audio or not for this stream. So if I go down here and switch it, I'm actually not sure. I think that's the correct audio. So I'll turn that down. And this one's ready to go. Now I can't go up here and say new movie recording again for the second stream. So what you need to do is open up a terminal. And then I'll go into my Mac hard drive applications and I'll find the QuickTime player and I'll drag it into that terminal. And there's not a lot of terminal stuff here, just opening this application. So when I get to this point I'll hit delete forward slash and then I can hit tab and it'll auto put the word contents in there and then I can type a capital M and tab again and then tab one more time and it'll say QuickTime player. So what this will do is launch the QuickTime player from the command line. So I'll hit enter here. And if we go down to our dock, we'll see there's a second QuickTime player down here. So I'll click on that. I'll go up here to QuickTime Player and I'll say File, New Movie Recording. And I have a second stream up here. So these have the same thing coming into them right now. I'll go down here and change this to USB video number two. And I can turn the audio on here. It's glitching a little bit right now. Okay, we're up. Let me double check this audio again real quick. That's interesting. They're both on Metroid right now. The one on the left is Super Metroid, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so I have two of these streams here ready to go, and then I can just record them. So I'll hit the button here to record, and I'll hit the one on the right to record. There we go. So now I'm recording the two streams at the same time. And as I said earlier, I'm also recording uh, the screen for this capture of this video, so this may uh, glitch a little bit. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay, so I've recorded some of that. I'll hit stop here. I'll hit stop here, and I haven't tried this for like four hours, so I don't know if this would work if you're using it for an hour or two, but I'm guessing if you have a newer Mac, it might. So if you try this out, please drop your experiences below in the comments. I'm interested to see how it worked for you. So now I can play this video, and I can play this video. So if you want to save this, click on the video you want to save. We'll go to File, and then say Save. And then we'll call this SNES on the desktop, save. And then the other one, I'll click on it. I'll go up here, file to save. And I'll call this one NES. So I'll hit save. And now I can close this and I can quit QuickTime Player. And you'll see here the terminal stopped. So I can just close this. If you just close that on its own, it will probably also quit QuickTime Player. Then I can go to the original QuickTime player, and I can close this window. Now I still have this open because I'm doing my screen recording here. So on the desktop here, we have our two files. And you know, I shrunk those down just for the preview, but these are recorded at full size. 
And the audio you're hearing is actually coming out of a Bluetooth speaker, so it may not sound perfect. So that's a technique you can use to record two input streams on a Mac using QuickTime. And this might work with three or four, I don't know. But maybe this will help someone out. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.